This is Chess Adventures. We bring you the beauty of the places we go to, but we also bring you the information on what it takes to get there. As you can see, the wave is a pretty spectacular sandstone formation. The wave is one of those sought after permits that really not a lot of people get. So the process is important on what you have to do to get it. And I'm gonna take you through that. It is located in the southeastern part of the United States. It's in Arizona near the Utah border, pretty much between the towns of Kanab, Utah and Page, Arizona. To get to the wave, you do have to turn off of that Highway 89 onto a minimally maintained road. And you do have to go about 8.4 miles. Typically when it's dry, a passenger vehicle should be able to make it, but uh, definitely not when it's wet. So to be safe, you may want to have a four wheel drive vehicle just to make sure you can get back there. The trail itself is a 6.4 mile strenuous round trip hike and the trail is not marked. You do have a sign initially when you're first going onto the trail, but after that, you do need to have some map capabilities or some GPS um, functions with you so that uh, you get to the right spot and don't get lost. So let's talk about getting that permit for the wave. There are two basic types of permits. One's an advanced permit and the other is a daily. I'm gonna cover both of those in this video, but in general, I just wanna talk a little bit about the permits overall. They are hard to get, bottom line, very hard to get. The odds of getting them is less than 10%, and that's pretty much in the winter months when less people are wanting to go. You can expect to, to be even harder in the preferred months. There's only 48 people or 12 groups that are allowed to go in on the advanced lottery. And when the daily lottery occurs, there's an additional 16 people or four groups. So you're looking at 64 people maximum in any given day or 16 groups. So uh, very limited. Very hard to get. And the cost when you do apply for a permit, it's $9 for the permit application. And once you are successful, then you would be charged an additional $7 per person for those that are in your group. You will be using recreation.gov and the maximum size for a group is six. Let's dig into that advanced permit. You do have to apply four months in advance. So if you're applying for a permit in May, the application process opens on January 1st and it closes on January 31st. So you have the entire month of January to get your permit in. The advanced permit, you're only allowed one application per person. And that means each member in your group can apply as long as they're not listed as an alternate permit holder. You are allowed to choose up to three dates. Put those dates in the order of your preference. And then you do get your results a day after the end of the month you applied. You have to accept by the 15th of the month and you do receive your permit through the mail four to six weeks later. And just as a general note, any permits that are not utilized for any reason in the advanced lottery do not get put back in to be drawn during the daily lottery. So once those permits are given out, they're out, whether you use them or not. Let's get into recreation.gov and I'll show you how that permit process works and then we'll move on to the daily permit process. Once you're into recreation.gov, you can do a search for the wave, 
but you want to make sure whatever you do, you pick the one that is called the north, Cayutes Buttes North, not South. And they're pretty good at showing you in parentheses that this is the one that you really want, which is the wave. You can see there's two lotteries in here. One is for the advanced and the other is for the daily. We're going to focus right now on the advanced. So just click in there and it'll take you to a page where it gives you all the information that I basically just provided to you. But be sure to read through that. There's an overview in here, the need to know information, anything that you want to know, you can find right here in recreation.gov. So for the advanced lottery system, you can see that the one that is available to us is for anything that you're trying to get in May. So the permit process opened at the beginning of January, January 1st. It's going to end on the 31st and it's for those dates, May 1st through the 31st. So we have in this case 11 days left to apply and the results will be provided on February 1st. So let's go ahead and register. My information is pre-populated for some of the personal information. So let's get down to the lottery preferences. I mentioned that you are allowed up to three choices. You can enter the choices. By date and then you enter your group size. So let's just say I want the permit to be on the 18th. We have a group size of four. My second preference would be on the 19th. And again, the group size of four. And my last choice would be on the 17th for a group size of four. And it won't allow you to add any more after those three choices. There's some information that you have down here. You need to watch an overview video. Once you've completed that, you click the yes button and you proceed to the cart. You are ready to check out. You can see the choices I put in there and you just want to confirm that. And then you can proceed to your payment method. You'll get charged $9. You will only get charged for the $7 after you're successful. So here's where you put your payment information in and then you hit your next button and you'll be sent out of the system. So let's talk about that daily permit now. You've just done the advanced and the chances of getting that permit are pretty slim. So now you're down to the daily permit. It is a requirement to apply two days in advance. So your day one is all about getting that application in. You have from 6 in the morning till 6 p.m. at night. You will get results by 7.15. And then by the next morning at 8 a.m., you have to have accepted it if you were one of the lucky ones. And that is Utah time, or it would be 7 a.m., Arizona time. So pay attention to, to the differences in time for Arizona and Utah. Day two, you would need to go to a safety briefing and that is everybody in your group. And that is at 8.30 in the morning in whatever local time you're in, depending on which facility you go to. On day three, that's when you get the hike. There's a couple of hurdles you have to get through to really get this permit. I haven't mentioned them yet, so let's get into it. You do have to utilize a cell phone, basically, something that has a GPS uh, functionality in it because you have to be in a geofenced area when you do apply for this permit. That means any place within this bubble 
then you can apply. If you're outside the bubble, the system is not going to let you apply for that permit. So you have to be in some of the towns like either Kanab, Page, Big Water, Fredonia, Glendale, or Jacob Lake in order to be able to apply for this permit. <laughs> so that's the hurdles you have to get through to get your daily permit in. If you can do all that, then you're well on your way and hopefully you'll be able to get it. Spoiler alert, we were one of the lucky ones to get a permit. We are doing a 20 day Utah trip here at the end of March till mid April. So I am going to be bringing all sorts of videos on the things to do in the Mighty Five, as well as the areas that are close to there. So be sure to join us.